Hello, welcome my lovely sisters. I am here to share something that has shifted and changed my entire life. And it's something that was so small that at first I was very skeptical about because how could something as simple as writing what I'm grateful for change my life, right? And I'm here to say that after having a gratitude practice for about six years now, like it has shifted the way that I think. And what it does is it changes our vibration because gratitude is one of the highest feeling thoughts. Like think of when we're feeling like guilty and shameful and resentful, we're really low. I think of there is this emotional scale and it's this vertical scale that runs up with all these check marks, right up here. Like think of like peace and joy and love is up here and then fear, blah, all those yucky ones, boredom's in the middle. So an easy way to raise and shift the way that you're thinking and feeling in this moment is gratitude. I recommend getting a journal that you connect with, something that when you get, you kind of light up and it gives you like happy feelings. And why this is important, it's not superficial. It's because the way that we feel about things is like what leads the vibration, what leads the way that we're feeling and what we're experiencing in our life. So if you have a journal that you're like, oh my gosh, and you feel really good every time, like it, you hold it, it makes you smile then that's going to help you. But if you grab a scrap piece of paper and you just write on it and then you kind of, you're not going to be putting that good feeling into. And so I'm sharing this with you because this has changed my life. I actually did this with a soul sister five years ago. We did 40 days of 40 I am gratefuls for 40 days. And I skipped a few days and got down on myself, but then I just kept going. And now gratitude is a part of who I am. I've done that challenge probably three different times of just writing like day one and then a list through one through 40. And it can be challenging to think of all the things you're grateful for. So what I'm asking of you, my friends, is to grow and to help heal deeper aspects of yourself and to help shift your life and change your life for the better is to start a gratitude practice. And this one, we're going to go with 11. 11 is like this very sacred, incredible number for me. It has a very spiritual meaning for many people. I see ones in signs. So for me, it's just like a good number. If there's a number that vibes with you, it's like your number, then go with that many. So writing, having a gratitude practice where you can write one through 11, and I would skip every other line and just say, I am grateful. And then I'm grateful. And if it's hard to reach for anything, reach for your bed. I am grateful for my cozy bed. I'm grateful for my pillows. I am grateful for my home. I am grateful for my body. I am grateful for breath. And knowing that gratitude is a way to raise up our vibration, right? It's a way to lift us up from the mucky, mucky waters. And no matter why, what you're going through or where you're at in your life, that gratitude is always accessible. Whether or not you have a journal or not, you don't even have to have that journal. You can put your hands on your heart and recite, I am grateful, I am grateful, I am grateful. And it is just such the power behind just saying grateful. It has such a high vibration. Like it's been... It's just been spoken upon so much and the collective vibration of gratitude will raise you up. And so I encourage you that create a new gratitude practice over the next 21 days. Write what you are grateful for. And perhaps, I always like to say that it's not going to be this quick fix fad or this diet to just say like, I'm grateful today and I'm not tomorrow. That's why... Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. It's one of my favorite holidays. However, there's like this kind of like cliche thing about like that you're only allowed to be grateful on Thanksgiving in America anyways. Being grateful is a practice that can become a part of who you are if you allow it to be. And again, it's as simple as writing, reciting, thinking. Sometimes I'll even do in my yoga practice I will be in like a child's pose or more of like a pose of surrender in your Shavasana, the final pose. 
or a restorative pose. And I like to invite my students to repeat, I am grateful, I am grateful, I am grateful. And you can almost, in your mind, you can imagine in your most beautiful cursive writing or most beautiful handwriting, write everything you're grateful for in the eye of your mind. Or maybe you can like allow yourself to rest. And you can imagine like this magical download up from the universe of everything that you're grateful for. It could be images of people and things just like zoom, 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 just coming at you. And you can make gratitude a part of your daily life. And also creating like a song around gratitude. So another segue way into changing the way that we're thinking and feeling about things is to do things in a constant because, right, it's a practice, it's not a perfect, and it's not a one size fits all. So making gratitude a part of who you are, like start somewhere. So I know sometimes it can like the whole spectrum of it, the gamut of it can seem like a lot, but being grateful is tangible, it's real. You can accomplish feeling grateful by doing it and knowing that you actually have to follow through. So you have to follow through with the journaling. And there is this sacred thing about writing and then about speaking. And if you want it to be like the most pungent and powerful, you write it down, then you put your hand on your heart, you read it to yourself first, and then you read it out loud. You intentionally tell the world, the universe, the vibration, love, light, source, God, whatever is your jam around you, what you are grateful for, because the universe loves gratitude. And we can change our lives by having a grateful mind, which will transmute into a grateful heart, right? But it all starts here. So again, no matter where you are in your life, in your, in your relationships, in your home life, if your house is a disaster, your children are a disaster, you cannot focus if you are stuck in anxiety and overwhelm. If you are struggling with the relationships with your parents or your siblings, or you can't get in control of the way that you are thinking about yourself, that gratitude is a way instantaneously to bring us back to you. There are so many incredible benefits from gratitude. And if one that you could grab onto is changing the way that you are feeling and thinking, because imagine a world, imagine a day where instead of you woke up stressing about your to-do list, because right, our to-do list will always be there. And I don't care how many items you check off of your to-do list, you will find more items to put on the to-do list. I know this, I know this for a fact. I'm a mom of three, a small business owner. With I, I do so many things. I get really overwhelmed when my house is messy. It gives me like incredible anxiety. I struggle with control. Like I am, I am a recovering control freak is what my husband likes to call me. And knowing that I have learned in the mornings, get this, I have learned in the mornings that when I wake up, that over years of this, in my mind, my subconscious mind just plays, I am grateful. I right away just say, I am grateful for you bed. I'm grateful for you pillows. I'm grateful for your blankets. Instead of worrying about everything, it just comes. It legitimately just happens. I don't have to do anything because I have already done the work. And before bed, I will tell you that what if at night you can lay in bed and instead of worrying and focusing on all you didn't do and feeling all of the blah, 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 blah about the world and worrying about what's happening over here, what if you could take over the way that you were thinking and feeling with a gratitude practice? Instead of all of that, you can start a practice tonight in your bed when you lay down, right? You could read what you wrote, what you were grateful for this morning. If you want to hit it hard and make gratitude a part of who you are, you will do this in the morning when you first wake up and when you go to bed. And right, anything can sound like a lot at first, but if you don't like the results you are getting in your life, if you don't like the way you are feeling, and if you are struggling with anxiety and overwhelm and worries and blah, blah everything, right? Most of us women are, then this is for you. Then creating a morning and an evening bedtime 
gratitude practice is for you. And then you can write them and read them and then lay in your bed, get your room set up all super cozy, put your hands on your hearts. And this is a great one to say, I am so grateful that the only thing that I get to do right now is rest. I am so grateful for this day. I am grateful that these this practice will change your life. But you have to know it's not a quick fix. It's not just going to come and go that you have to put in the time and the work because to change ourselves, to change our results in life, to change our trajectory, to heal ourselves on deeper levels that we have to do the work and that Gratitude is the foundation of everything that I share and everything that I teach and everything that has worked for me in my life. And that's why I feel so passionate about it. I will, I will always share about it because gratitude is a way of living and it's a way of being. And that gratitude can change your life if you open to allowing it to. My beautiful, beautiful sisters, I am, I'm so grateful for this opportunity to share with you that gratitude has shifted my life and so many successful, incredible people crushing it in the self-help, the spiritual field, and just crushing it in life for stay-at-home mamas like me, for people with dreams to do better and to change the world, right? I have this quote in my space where I create malas and do Reiki over here that is, says, be the change you wish to see in the world, Gandhi. So do you want to see a world of fear and worry and overwhelm? Or do we want to change the world for our children and for these next generations? Be the change by being a grateful person. And when you start allowing yourself permission to think and feel grateful, it just starts like sprouting off into your relationships. And even small things are is telling people in your lives that you're grateful for them. That if someone maybe gets you a glass of water or helps you make your bed or whatever someone you live with, your spouse or your children, acknowledge them. Tell them that you are grateful for them. Put that loving high vibration out into the world. And I challenge you to notice if things don't start shifting because they will. I promise they will. I promise. I love you. I am so grateful for you. And make gratitude a part of who you are by making it a part of your morning and your night. And remember, there's many different ways that you can approach gratitude through writing, through visualization. You can, we could do lay in a yoga pose, through singing a, a grateful song like, I am grateful, I am grateful. One of those annoying songs that you can't get out of your head, make it a song that's actually going to change the way that you think. I am grateful, I am grateful. Or that practice that night hand on the heart, I am grateful. Or the ultimate practice in testing is actually sharing and experiencing gratitude with those around you. Even with pets, tell your pet that you're so grateful for them and for their unconditional love. And just see and just notice how gratitude can help shift your life. I love you, my sisters. And know that I'm right here doing the work with you. Gratitude is a part of who I am. And it's something that is constantly going through my mind. And when I find myself in those loops of anxiety or overwhelm or worry, I bring it back. And so can you. I love you. And I will see you back here next.